Hi. I'm Eric, an automotive technician with 15 years of experience. This video is going to explain the meaning of this error code, and show you how to diagnose and fix it. OBD2 fault code P0505 means that the idle control system is not managing the engine idle speed properly, which can lead to low, rough, or high idling. When you encounter this OBD error, the vehicle typically exhibits the following symptoms. 1. Check engine light will illuminate. 2. Engine idle speed is very low and may die at stops. 3. Engine idles rough. 4. In some cases, engine may idle very high. Now we talk about possible causes, and how to diagnose and fix. Carbon buildup in the throttle body air passages. To diagnose this issue, you can visually inspect the throttle body in air passages for any signs of carbon buildup. Use a flashlight to look for black, sooty deposits. You can also use a throttle body cleaner to clean the passages and see if the issue improves. To fix this issue, you can use a throttle body cleaner to remove any carbon buildup from the air passages. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and use a cleaning tool to scrub away any deposits. This should help improve the engine idle speed. Defective idle air control motor. You can diagnose a defective idle air control motor by using a multimeter to test for proper electrical voltage. You can also try tapping on the motor gently to see if it affects the engine idle speed. Additionally, check for any loose connections or damaged wiring. If the idle air control motor is found to be defective, it will need to be replaced. This can involve removing the old motor, installing a new one, and calibrating it to ensure proper idle speed control. Intake Manifold Vacuum Leaks To diagnose this issue, you can perform a visual inspection of the intake manifold and its connections for any visible cracks, leaks, or damage. You can also use a smoke machine to test for vacuum leaks by introducing smoke into the intake system and looking for any leaks where the smoke escapes. To fix this issue, you will need to repair or replace any damaged or leaking components in the intake manifold system. This can involve sealing any cracks, replacing gaskets, or repairing damaged hoses to restore proper vacuum pressure. If there are uncertainties, feel free to engage in discussions by leaving a comment. Alternatively, when facing difficulties, it is advisable to seek assistance from a professional auto repair shop and technicians. It is not recommended to handle it independently, especially when uncertain. Thanks for watching.